Hi guys, it's Alana and it's Thursday. Um, okay, so a few things before I get to the topic this week. One, I <laughs> am really embarrassed because I realized that last week's video I probably yelled that is good like 150 times. And I wasn't even thinking about it, but I realized that's an inside joke with me and my girlfriend. And that's really awkward because I literally sat in front of the computer and screamed it at all my viewers for like five minutes. And I'm sorry if it seemed like I was yelling at you. I'm not yelling at you. I love you guys. I really appreciate all of you. I'm sorry if I seemed like I was yelling at you. Okay, um, next. So um, I wanted to say, I wanted to say something to a lot of you because I just went through it and I want you guys to know that you're going to be okay if you happen to go through this. So I want to say that sometimes it's really hard to get out of a relationship that you know you shouldn't be in. Um, and sometimes it just takes leaning on that one person that you know is always there for you, that you know will always be there for you, um, like a best friend or like a family member, whatever, just you can lean on them and you can be like, look, I need help getting out of this relationship. I don't feel like I'm strong enough. Please, 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 like just be there for me because I have this really, really, really good friend and I was like, okay, I I knew I could not get out of my relationship like by myself. I knew I was not strong enough, but she kept telling me, like, Alana, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. And like somewhere like seven months ago, I had started having feelings for this friend. I was like, look, like maybe if I get out of this relationship, like maybe something could happen. And so I got out of this relationship and like now I am like, I have this amazing girl that I really like and that really likes me and that cares about me and that cares about me enough to help me get out of something that was not good for me. And I just, I want to say thank you. And I wanted to say that for all of you out there who are struggling getting out of a relationship that may be sucking the life out of you, like, you can do it. Find a friend. Find somebody. Because you never know what could become, like, what could happen. Because I had no idea that there were girls this amazing out there. And now, suddenly, I kind of have one of them. And it's amazing. Okay. Now, topic. Um, how to deal with being outed by someone, intentionally or not. And... I kind of am in the same situation as a lot of the other girls on this channel in that people are like, this is my lesbian friend. Like, <coughs> sorry. Wait, there's no one. No, maybe not. Like, this is my lesbian friend. Like, this is Alana. She's a lesbian. Like, there is more to me than just that. And to most people, like, it doesn't really matter if they do that because I'm like, I don't really care who knows or who doesn't know. It, like, it doesn't bother me. Um, but... In some instances, it really does. And my mom knows how comfortable I am with, like, my sexuality and everything. So she thought it would be okay to tell my aunt. And I was like, okay, like, that's fine. Like, you did that. It's over. It's done. But, like, she was there with me when I told my grandma. And, like, she kind of said it for me. But I had told her that she could and that was fine and it was okay. But then she went and told my aunt, who's, like, my favorite aunt, and I'm really close with her, and... I was just like, well, mom, like I, you know, that I was like, I was ready. I just hadn't done it yet. I just hadn't gotten the opportunity. And I was like, okay, mom, well, that was not really necessary. Um, and sometimes what you got to do is you got to talk to them. And you, I was like, okay, mom, like I prefer if you didn't do that. Like it made me feel bad. But I don't really think she got the message because like five months later, she told my little brother and it was kind of one of those things where, like, he is at a new school now, and um, he like, he has this friend, and this friend has two moms. And so he asked, like, oh, you know, like, I noticed my friend Ari has two moms. Like, what, what, like, what does that mean? Like, how is Ari made? You know, that kind of thing. And so my mom told him, and then my little brother's like, hmm, like, kind of putting it together, like, gears turning, like, is Alana gay? My mom was just like, yes. And I was like, well, you know, mom, like, that was not really completely and totally necessary. You did not need to tell him. Um, she thought she did, and she thought he had the right to know. And I was just, I was just a little disappointed because, like, that was something I wasn't really ready to do. I knew I needed to, but I wasn't ready, and that I really wanted to do. Um... 
So I wish she had not done that. Um, okay, let's. But when somebody does out you, you really gotta point out to them, like, that is not okay. Like, look, this is my thing to tell people. But with friends, with people in my school and people in the community, for the most part, like, I really just don't care because I'm like, my hair and, like, the way I act and the way I dress for most, for the most part, like, kind of screams it. So if, like, if somebody doesn't tell you, you're bound to figure it out anyway. Okay. And then question, what are you looking forward to this summer? Um, I have two weeks off of work, so I don't know what I'm going to do, but I really, really would like to go somewhere fun with my family. Um, and I'm also, I am working, and you guys know that I love what I do. I work with kids with special needs, and I love it. So I'm really excited for that because the kid I'm working with this summer is amazing, and I love him to death, and he's really funny, and so I'm excited. And so that's what I'm looking forward to this summer, and I will see you guys next week. But please remember that you guys are strong enough to get out of a relationship that is really hurting you because you might find somebody like I did. Love you all. Bye.